once you have created your daily recurrent WebEx meeting, it's time to now take the link for this meeting and put it into your learning management system. So if you are a Seesaw user, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this link and bring it over to our Seesaw class. So the first thing you need to do is open up a web browser, log into lindbrook.webex.com so that you can access all of your meetings. So if you log in, you're going to click on meetings and you should see a full list. If you have made your meeting of daily recurrent meeting, you will see a list of your meeting occurring every single day. In order to get the link for your WebEx meeting, and if you have a lot of them, all you need to do is click on one of them. You're going to click on the title of it and this is going to give you all the information for your meeting. If you scroll down to the area that says meeting information, the meeting link is the information that the students and their parents are going to need to join your class remotely. So what you're going to do is come over here to this little icon next to the link and you're going to copy it. Now that we have the link copied, we're going to log in to our LMS. In this case, it's Seesaw. So log in to Seesaw. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the class where you're going to provide this link. Now, there are a couple of different places that you can put your link, but one of the easiest ways for students and their parents to access this link is by actually sending it as an announcement. So if you go ahead in your class and click on the Add button and then click Send Announcement, where it's, you're going to send it to, you could send it just to students, or if you have very young students, you might want to send it to both students and family members, so both have access to it. And then you're going to put in your information, daily remote learning link, click below. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click add an attachment. And we're going to click a link. And because we had just copied that link from WebEx, we're just going to either right click and paste or control V to paste. And now you can see that link that we had just copied from WebEx is here. And then I'm going to check it. And it's going to now be added to the message. So it does put an icon of WebEx in here. And now I'm just going to click this green check mark again. So now this link is here for the students and the parents to click on, and I'm going to click Send Now. So now that it has been sent, this is now a hyperlink so that when the students and or their parents are ready to join your session remotely, all they need to do is log into Seesaw and check their inbox, check their mail, and they will have the link. And this link will be good for as long as you have set it as a recurrent link for the remainder of the time needed.